On the desktop screen, you'll see an AutoCAD icon that says Architecture 2021 English US Imperial. Double click on the icon. This will bring up the AutoCAD architecture software. Minimize your AutoCAD. Open up your canvas, scroll down until you see the architectural design module. Select Technology and Engineering 9 Architectural Design. DWG. This is your drawing file template. Left click and you'll see a download in the lower left. Left click, open. This is a two dimensional drawing of what you'll be creating in 3D. The way I'm manipulating this with the zoom commands is I'm using the wheel on the mouse and I'm wheeling towards the screen to make it bigger and wheel away from the screen to make it smaller. To pan or bring up the hand, I'm using the wheel as a button. Left click, hold, and you can drag your image around. Your screen may be looking different with the student desktop computers. However, since you downloaded this from Canvas, everything should be set up for you. There might be a couple windows on the right side that you can clear out of. On the left side, you'll see a tool palette, just like an artist has a palette with paint. You're going to have a palette with specific architectural tools. Yours, once again, may look a little different. If we select wall with a single left click, you'll see the properties of the wall pop up. You can scroll down with a left click and a hold and check the width of your walls. If it says four, inches, change it to six inches, select enter. Left click on one of the corners of the wall and drag around the whole perimeter, completing in a sense a rectangular form and do not skip any of the door openings. Go right over the door openings. To end the command, select the enter key and you'll see your walls form. Since these are six inch walls and we went halfway, we're going to drag them in three. If I single left click on a wall, you'll see what are called grips. In the middle, you'll see a little box, a little square. If I click and drag straight down and I type in the number three for inches and select enter, it'll drag it three inches in the direction you dragged it. Left click, drag up three inches. And we'll cover the form of the walls. In this command, we're going to select the escape key. And you'll see we covered up the dashed lines. I'm going to single left click on wall again. Click, click, click. Hit enter. Same manner with the closet, select wall. Click, 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 and select enter. I'm going to click on this particular wall and drag it to the left using the middle grip. Type in in three and selecting enter. Escape. This wall, this wall, the wall that's holding the door, and this wall are all four inches. I'm going to double click on one of the walls and bring up my properties palette. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change these walls instead of six inches to four inches. Before I do that, I'm going to single left click on the rest of the walls that need to be changed to four. Scroll down, change to four, and select enter. And you'll see the wall widths change. Select escape. I'm going to move the properties window out of the way. Single left click, drag down, 
And instead of three, this time I'm going to select two. Enter. Two. Enter. Two. Enter. Two. Enter. Select escape. I'm going to double click with the wheel in the wall, or in the blank screen, and it'll bring up everything that I have in my graphics area. Close these out. That completes the wall lesson for the AutoCAD architecture.